consider a line from a typical management report. In this case, let's consider deviation from forecast. And we might have this month, last month, this month, last year. This month, we were 7.6% below forecast. Last month, we were 1.1% above forecast. And last year, same month, we were minus 1.4%. And by the way, this management report has specified that there's a standard of plus and minus 5%. So we have to be within 5% to meet our standard. So this might be a, a single line from a traditional management report. And the question I might ask, or we might ask, is what action do you take based on this management report? What can you possibly do? You can say, well, we're outside of our standard, but what do you do from there? So if we take that management report we were just talking about and think about presenting the data in a different way. So, for example, we could consider here's this month, here's last month, and here's this month last year. And so we have, here's, this is 0% deviation. That's a perfect forecast. So this month, we were minus 7.6%. Last month, we were plus 1.1%. And this month last year, we were minus 1.4%. So there are three, three data points there. And you might say, well, what did you just do? I think what I did here is I showed you how little information is really contained in that kind of a management report. We could add the plus and minus 5%, but what's happened all those other months? Dr. Deming asks us to present the data in as complete a context as we have. So what I've done here is added a complete scenario where we know all the intermediate data points. So if you look at these data, now how do we react to minus 7.6? It's still outside of our standard, but is it unusual given the rest of the data that we've seen? I would argue that it's probably not. The subject of this course is control charts. And so I could make a control chart of these data and have actually done that. And it says that over this last period of time, this process has averaged minus 1%. If you calculate the control limits based on these data, you get that the upper control limit for this process is 11.8%, and the lower control limit is minus 13.7. So given that, minus 7.6 we saw this month is not at all an unusual observation to get. We might not be happy about it, Minus 7.6% is outside of our plus or minus 5% standard, but it's not an unusual observation, not an unusual value to get given the process that we have. So there's no basis for taking action on our process based on that data point.